Hello guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to fold origami fox designed by Huang Ting Kuet. This fox looks like this. In my opinion, it's the most beautiful origami fox in the world, the most beautiful design. Not the fault. And uh, this model is really elegant and uh, it's my favorite origami fox and as I said I think it's the best in the world. It's not so hard to fold, you can also fold it really fast, maybe in 30 minutes or maybe less if you learn the sequence very well. And uh, the result looks just amazing as you can see. Um, now before I start teaching you um, I'll talk a bit about uh, what paper to use to fold it. So the paper that um, designer most likely used is uh, some kind of uh, art paper, uh, you know, for watercolors. That kind of paper looks like this. Uh, you can find it in many colors. For example, I bought this uh, at the local art store. So the way I would, as you can see, the fox is orange and white. Oh, and that's also one awesome thing about this model. It has beautiful color changes at the right places here at the belly. So it's even more beautiful. So um, in order to make this orange and uh, white paper, you could glue two sheets together like this. So glue white and orange with spray glue. And then uh, you can use wet folding because the paper will be really thick. Um, now in this fold I didn't use um, I didn't use water to fold them all, so I didn't wet fold it. It was just dry folded. So if I wet folded it, it would look even better. Um, so I haven't I don't have any videos about how to wet fold, but I think after I finish this tutorial, I'll make just a short video just to show you how to wet fold this uh, this origami fold. But I'll think about it. So. Um, this paper is 135 GSM, just a sheet, so if I glue two, it will be like 270, so um, paper will be really thick, so that's why you need to uh, use water so you can fold it and shape it later. Uh, and as I said, you can glue it with spray glue. Uh, so that's one choice, then you can use um, tanned paper, which looks like this. Um, you can buy it at origami shop it comes in many different colors uh, this one's just yellow I didn't have orange because I used orange paper here now as you can see it's uh, it's, it's not um, white and uh, yellow but it's just yellow so that's kind of problem so in order to make it um, in two colors you need to glue another sheet of paper so what I did here with this fox, I took this uh, tracing paper and glued it here. Uh, and as you can see, you can still see that it's white color, so uh, it doesn't become so yellow. And uh, it worked. So you can use this kind of paper. Then you can use uh, maybe a tissue paper. I wanted to make it the fox from tissue paper, so. Um, here is a triple tissue actually and as you can see um, it's still a bit orange I mean you can clearly see the difference between these two colors but this one is not so white now if you maybe glue uh, another sheet here you'll get a decent white so but this uh, in order to get this paper you will have to glue five tissue papers together which is a lot so it's like a penta tissue paper um, so yeah this won't work so you can choose any like tanned or any kind of thick paper to get a beautiful result but you can also use like a printing paper and things like that and in this tutorial I'm going to use this regular comic paper um, oh and by the way um, the size uh, I used paper size I used for this um, Fox was 30 by 30 centimeters, um, and yeah, so it's about. Let me see. It's about uh, yeah. So when you fold it, the length of the fox will be one half of the 
original side side of the paper and um, it will be let me see about so if I cut here about one fourth a bit more than one fourth tall um, so yeah the result is quite big okay so now we can start folding them all let me just take these papers away put this aside and uh, yeah so you're going to start folding this model uh, on the on the color side. So the first thing we have to do is divide the paper in um, in thirds. But in order to get clean result, uh, we are not going to use the method uh, I showed you, for example, in my Salt Creek Tiger Beetle tutorial, because we'll create too many creases. But we're going to do it with uh, another method, which is maybe simpler, but uh, well, a bit harder maybe. It's not so precise, but it still works. So what are we going to do is divide the paper in, in thirds approximately. So we're going to fold this like that and then just look at these two sides. I mean, and if they're equal, then that's a third. So, you, you know, just make a pinch here and then turn around on the other side and then fold this corner up to here to see if it's really perfect thirds. And as you can see, um, this one's perfect. This needs to be a bit up, harder up. So it's uh, basically you just do it approximately. Okay, so let's try this one. Okay, this one looks, seems to be almost perfect, as you can see. So I'm going to use uh, these two creases, as you can see, that's uh, those are thirds. So when you make those pinches, then just fold, make a full crease like this. Okay. Then turn around on the other side, and then fold this edge to the crease we have just made, like this. And I can check again if it's really dirt. Yeah, it is. You, you see, you can see just the. Uh, well, actually, you can't see white. Well, well, you can't see it at all. Here, you can see a bit of yellow. So it's not so perfect, but it's close enough. So, when we have um, something like this, uh, we are going to turn around on the other side. And you're going to make a, di a diagonal fold, but. Uh, so I'm going to be a full diagonal. We just we'll just fold like this. Right. Come on. Like this, and then just crease this part here, and just go a bit farther up. So something like this, and here a little bit. Maybe. So it's just a really light crease. Okay. Then unfold. As you can see now we have something like this. So it's not a full diagonal. So now we're going to use um, the intersection of these two uh, folds to get another fold. So we're going to fold this part like this to create another pair of those thirds. Okay, so now turn around and fold this edge to the, this edge. Okay, and now we can unfold it. So now we have something like this. Okay. So the next step is to fold this corner to here. And also, okay, unfold that and then fold this corner to here. Like this, and fold that as well. Okay, so now you're going to fold this edge to this line, like this. And 
and I'm just going to rotate the paper like that so I can get precise fold. Okay, like this. Okay, now we're going to fold, make a valley fold here, like this. And here, like this. Okay, now you're going to turn around the paper. Oh, and right, before turning around the paper, uh, you have to make two more creases, one here and one here. So fold this corner to here, like this. And also this corner to here. Okay, unfold. Okay, so now you can turn around like this, and now you're going to fold uh, this edge up, and you're going to pinch here. Uh, so let me just zoom in to show you. Here, make a pinch like this, so when this white part touches the edges, okay, and now you're going to put this point to this crease like that. So as you can see here is a crease and it needs to continue to this crease. And same here, like this. Okay, like that. So now unfold that and do the same thing here. So you're going to fold this up, pinch this part, and then align this crease with this crease. Like that. And here as well. Okay, and now we're going to turn around the paper again. Okay, so now the next step is to make uh, two more creases that go. Uh, we're going to make a crease that goes from this point and it goes over to here so it's something like this so fold, you can actually fold this edge um, to the main diagonal line and stop, make sure to stop here okay so fold and do the same thing here Okay, so, and now the next step is to, again, make another crease that goes from this point here to this point here, and it needs to be mounted. So you're going to turn around on the other side, like this, and basically make the valley fold like that. So you make a pinch here, and then make a pinch here, and then just make a crease. Uh, it's not a like a whole crease, but just this part here. Okay, so make sure you have something like that. Okay, you do. So now the next step is to. I'm going to. Um, you see now this intersection between this crease and this main diagonal. Here, we're going to make uh, a crease that's perpendicular to this and to this edge. So it goes from this point. So we're going to just rotate the paper like that and uh, fold this part uh, over like this. So you're going to make a pinch here and then align this side with this side here. Okay, and now you're going to make a crease from this point to here and uh, here as well you're going to stop with the crease when you hit this part so something uh, like this 
As you can see, it stops there. And this one stops down here. So now make another crease. So it's the same thing. So you go up like this and then so it needs to stop here. And this one needs to stop here. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit. So now when we have something like this, we're going to make um, the fold, another fold that goes from this point, you can see here. So we have like a line there, and the intersection between this line and this line is the point from where, from which we're going to make the crease. So we're going to fold this over, uh, make a pinch here and then just align like this line with this line and the fold you're going to make like a whole fold here here is this whole part but uh, you're going to stop when you hit this line here so here you're going to stop okay so now we're going to do the same thing here. So find this intersection, which is here. And fold paper like this, pinch this part, align the diagonals, and stop when you hit this crease. Okay, so now we have something like that. And the next step is to so you're going to rotate the paper like this and we are going to make some more creases here. So the first crease we're going to do is we're going to pinch here. Here. You see? And now align this edge with this edge. And you're just going to make a crease like this. As you can see here I have like a part of my main diagonal line, so I know where to stop. So uh, just uh, you can use this point and this point to make another uh, fold there. Okay, so now that we have these two creases, we're going to fold this uh, corner here. Okay. No, we are still here. Uh, now we're going to make two more creases. Crease goes from this point, and then you go like this, and then you stop when you hit this diagonal. So you're going to fold this over again. Pinch this part. You'll align this edge with that edge, and then just make a one. And make sure to stop here. So. Here, one more line. Okay, so we have something like this. Okay. Um, now we are still here. You're going to make a mount of hold along this line. Like that. And now fold it to here, but don't crease everything, but just this part. So you're just going to make like a crease like that. So what you want to do is just crease this part here. Okay. After you do that, rotate and do the same thing. So make the first mount and fold along this line, and then fold it to this main diagonal and then just crease this part. So basically from here to here. Okay, so we have something like that. Okay, so now you're going to rotate the paper, make the mountain fold along this line and fold this point to this point. 
and then just trace uh, this part. Okay, rotate again and then you need to fold this up. In here, where you see these two points, crease. Or you can just make another multiple and fold it to here. So, what we've made is something like this. Okay, so let me zoom a little bit. Okay, so now the next step. Uh, you're going to make, um, I can, sorry, I have to zoom in again. So you're going to make a um, multifold along this line and then make a while from here. So now I'm going to take this whole part and just hold it like this. You're going to make a multifold along this line. Like this, but you're, in the same time you're also holding this part. You see you're making the another valley foot here. So do something like this. As you can see we made a new fold there. Okay? So after you do that, and fold. As you can see we have two more new creases um, here. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing here. Make the mountain fold, and then here is the valley fold, and then make a mountain fold along this line. Here is how it looks from inside. Okay. So unfold that, and we are going to have something like this. Okay. So now you're going to work a bit on the tail part. So let me zoom in here. Um, we are going to, you're going to fold this corner to here and then just pinch here a bit in the middle, about this much. Okay. And uh, if you made this diagonal line long enough, you see here we have this intersection. So you're going to fold this corner to that intersection, like this. Or you can just, you know, see, just imagine that there's a line here and there's a line there and then just find the intersection between those two lines. <laughs> okay, so now, when you have that, you need to turn around on the other side. So I'm going to rotate like this and now fold this edge to this line this you're going to stop with the crease when you hit this diagonal line so here I hit it so then stop now make sure when you make a fold here not to rip this part so we have something like that and now rotate again and then do the same thing here Again, make sure to stop when you hit this line. So now we have something like this. And the next step is to uh, make a bisector of these two lines. So you're going to fold this like that, pinch this part, and then um, you're going to kind of move this part till this looks um, looks like the same. So it doesn't, it shouldn't look like that or like I don't know, like that. But it should be equal. Like this line should be um, nice like this. So that like the distance between this part and this part is equal everywhere. So it's not like this. Okay. So when you do that. We're going to unfold the paper, as you can see, and then we're going to do the same thing here. So fold that part like this, uh, make a pinch, and then do the same thing. Now, what also you can do is align this uh, diagonal line with that side, with that edge. 
in this centimeter crease. So we have something like that. Okay, so now you're going to make the line that goes from this point to this point, and it's a valley fit. So, like this, and then make a fold here. Okay, and now another line from this point to this point. So, like this. so we made two new creases. So do the same thing here. And now from this point to this point. You can also line this diagonal line with this diagonal line, and then just you'll see that it will end exactly in this crease because all of those creases are connected. Okay, so we have something like that. And now we are going to make another fold that goes here look here we have like two lines this one and this one so we're going to make a valley fold from this point to here so you're going to hold this up find this pin find this part and then just uh, find this pin and then just to make a crease Okay, so you have something like that. Now we're going to turn around on the yellow side, on the colored side again, and uh, make a few more creases. So let me start here. First crease, we will need to make a crease from this point to this point. That's going to be a uh, well fold. So I'm going to just rotate the paper. Now fold this part like that, just pinch this, and then just make a line. Like this. Okay, now another one here. Okay, like this. So now, um, you're going to make the line that goes from this point and it will end when you hit this diagonal line. So, pull this up and then align this, um, this diagonal line with this diagonal line. And make a straight line and you're going to finish that line when you hit this crease, so this middle one, so to here. Now don't make a straight line, but just from this part to here. Okay? And now, as you can see, you can make the line from this point to here as well. You just going to fold that up. And you see, find those two lines and uh, make the crease there as well. Now, since we are already doing that, you can do this on the other side as well. You see, you can use this as the reference. So, here. You need to do it on the other side. Uh, so, I'll get to do it later. Okay, so, fold that, and we should have something like this. So, we have this crease. And now, from here, you can continue with doing this crease. The, the one that we should have done first. to here. Okay, so now you're going to look there and uh, you're going to make like a rabbit ear or we can say a half of the fish base here. So you're going to fold this edge to here. Up, 
grease, grease sink when you hit this diagonal line. And now make another, make sure, you know, you can put your finger like this, then fold this over and then just align this uh, line with this one. Okay, and then as you can see we have something like, um, you know, like a uh, rabbit here. So you're going to do the same thing here. And let me just fold this over and do it again. Okay, something like that. And now you need to do something like this. I'll try to show you. So make a mountain foot here and make a mountain foot here. So you're going to fold this edge to here, like that. And now you're going to fold this flap over like that. So the this line should be perpendicular to this one, so you'll have a right angle here. You can also do here, this, if you go here, hold this over and then try to make a crease here, like that. As you can see, so it's the same as this line behind it. Okay, so I did it here. So now fold and do the same thing here. So first fold this over like that and then try to fold this over. So now you can turn around and just make a crease like that. Okay, and as you can see it's perpendicular to this line. So let me zoom out. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so we are done with brick greasing. So it took us, okay, 32 minutes to do it. Oh, quite a while, quite a long time. Okay, you can do it faster uh, when you learn this whole sequence. So now we have something like this. And now we can start collapsing. So it starts like this. Fold this down like this. And now you're going to make like... Um, if you ever folded Kawasaki rows, you're going to do something similar with these creases. So as you can see we have this, four creases, so make a, a mountain fold. You're going to do something like this. You see? So you have something like that, and now you push this part inside. Now don't make straight creases here. So don't crease this part, leave it. And now turn on this side, and you're going to make a mountain fold along this line and then mountain fold along this line so now we still have this fold and we have these two lines so now fold this line like here make a valley fold and then here as well So you need to end up with something like this, you see, and behind looks still like that, okay, so when you end up with something like this, you're going to fold this down a little bit and then make a mountain fold here. But in the same time, you're going to make a valley fold on these two sides and kind of push that paper uh, inside. You see, it folds nicely like that. 
Okay, and now here we're going to make an increase from this point to here, and so you're going to kind of start folding this part over, and then this is where you're going to make this crease, as you can see. Okay, so now let's do the same thing here. Uh, so fold this like that. Make uh, two valley folds here. So something like this. Oh, here you can also look at the time how it looks like. So we have something like that. And then we're going to collapse this like this and here is going to be a well equal that we are going to make now. So here. And now you can flatten this part. And still don't flatten this, but you should end up with something similar to what I have now. As you can see, it already starts to look like a fox. So, let me just zoom in and show you what to do. So you have something like this. Um, so now, this might be a little bit tricky. You're going to fold this up. And um, you're going to take this flat, fold it here. And now we're going to take this part and then pull it out. So you're going to take your finger here and then push. So let me show you. You see? So this is going to fold it up. And you're going to create like a mount to fold along this crease. Make sure you push this inside like that so it doesn't come out. Here is that mount fold. And now you see this part isn't flat. So you're going to push this part as well. Like this. And then something like this should happen. And now you can fold. You can fold. And now you can just do this kind of fold. Okay, so hopefully you understood that. Let's try to do it again on this side. We're going to open this, take this flap, fold it down, and pull out the paper from here. And don't be afraid to do this fold. So make a mountain fold. Here, make sure that this goes inside so it doesn't come up like this because it's not going to work and now all you have to do is just push this paper inside like this and now you can fold this and then fold this down and now it looks more like uh, like a fox As you can see, that's this part. Okay, so once you have something like this, you're going to fold the tail and the back legs. So look here, you're going to take your finger and push this part out a little bit, and you can see you can already start to kind of collapsing the tail. going to do like this. Yeah. Okay. 
So now you're going to open this up like this and make like a mountain hold here and then also mountain hold here. Okay, and now we're going to do a little bit tricky fold again. Well, it's not as hard as the one we did before. So you're going to, you see you have two alley folds here. So we're going to push this paper inside like this and make a mountain fold along this line. So it's like uh, something like that. You see? From behind it should look like this. So you do that rabbit here and then you just try to collapse it and then you should end up with something like this. You see? Okay, so now the next step is to kind of fold this uh, still down. Uh, well, actually, if you can, we should um, we should repeat these steps now on the other side because it's probably going to be easier to collapse. So again, you can fold this part, make a mountain foot here. This will kind of go inside. Something like this. Now open it. Make two valley folds, so one here and one on the other side. So it looks like this from behind. And then just uh, we'll have something like this. Okay. So now this is what we are going to do. You're not going to flatten everything. You can you see you can fold this a bit like that. So what are we going to do is make a wally fold here. Don't flatten this part. Make sure not to do that. So make like a valley fold there and then fold it like this. Okay. And now we're going to make another fold here. So just fold that down. And then we're going to do the reverse fold. Okay, so now open that part and we're going to open this part also from behind. So take it, open it, and you can we'll do something like this. Make a mountain fold along this line. Okay, and then along this line. And now you have two valley folds here. So this is how it's going to close. So you're going to um, hold, you see this is going to go behind and this part is going to close like, like this, you see, something like that, and then once you do it, you're going to end up with something like this, okay, so now let's repeat that here. So we had something like uh, here. Now you can use this fold. You see, you can you have that, and then you can fold this up. So we can repeat it on this side. Um, so we had something like this. Okay. So make a valley fold here. And fold this there. And now fold this down. Make a reverse fold. Okay, so now we're going to open this part, make a mountain fold here, and here is a valley fold, and that part is going to go nicely inside, like this. As you can see. This, I, I really like doing this kind of fold. So, we'll end up with something like 
like that and you can uh, uh, you know kind of make a multiple don't make a really strong crease but you can now fold it like this so make sure not to make strong crease for later shaping okay so now you're going to do some uh, some more shaping on the legs so you're going to look here okay and now you're going to fold this whole flap on the right and now fold this edge to this line you see in the same time we're going to kind of open this part so now fold that edge to this line okay to do like uh, not sure if I should I call this folds but we're just going to kind of open this part make a mountain fold along that line so that it's going to go inside and just finish this fold like this so we kind of just pushed it inside okay and now I just fold this part like this and you should end up with something like that okay so now I'll repeat it here so we're going to fold this to the left this time. Okay, let's open this part a little bit and fold this edge to this. Well, yeah, edge to edge. This and then just. Uh, to fold oh, actually first fold this down and now we're going to push it inside again like this I'll fold it over so now you should end up with something like this okay so now we're going to do just like a little shaping part here. Um, you're going to make like a, like a mountain fold here. Something like that. And then uh, fold it to here. So make it just like a just like a small crimp. And now as you can see this one fly flat. So what you have to do also is kinda make a little new fold here like that. Okay. So now it's going to lie flat. And now you can uh, make a, a reverse fold here like this you see and I can fold this behind it's just, just that's just shaping so you'll have something like this okay and you can Also, now fold this part. Okay, make another reverse fold like this. Okay, and then just fold this part behind like that. Just 
can see just fold it behind. So we'll have something like this. And now let's repeat that on this side. So just make a fold like, like that. Then make a crimp. And then at the same time we'll be making a new fold. Okay, like this. So you see have this part sticking out and now make a reverse fold there so yeah I can make it a bit bigger so it's more symmetrical okay and then just fold this behind like this so it's some like like that okay and same thing here just make a reverse fold like that and then fold this part behind so you can actually open this a little bit and then put it here inside so you can hide it so it looks better so I should have done this same thing here see just put it like that. Um, so yeah, you should end up with something like this. You see? Okay. So what's next? Now we're going to do something like this here at the tail part. Let me just zoom in. Okay, so you're just going to make two mountain folds. So one here and then one here. So something like that. You see, make sure they're like symmetrical. Okay? And I'll make a mountain fold form. Just imagine that there is a middle point and then to this point. So something like this. So now we are going to uh, make the head. Uh, so it goes like this. First of all, what I like to do is like you know, do the reverse fold here, like that. And now, oh, actually, no, wait. You can leave it for later. You have to make like um, open sink along this line. But when you open this part, there is a big possibility that this part will rip. So make sure to be careful. So you can do this nicely if you fold this to like here on the to the and then make and then just push this part inside. That way you can prevent uh, damaging the paper. I mean, so something like this. Okay. So now spread it out a little bit and make mountain folds here and then you can um, you can like uh, now fold this inside and this should be outside so you need to make do something like this so as you can see now we can close Okay, so as you can see, this is how it looks like. Okay, so now another fold. You're going to make a 22.5 line from this point. So fold this edge to here. Okay. 
Okay, and then just to make a mount and fold along this crease. And that's all. Same here. Now you can also do it like this. You just fold that and then do this crease immediately. Like do it the mount and fold. And make sure this is nice and clean. Like this. Okay, so now we are going to uh, make one crimp, which should go from this point to here. So something like this. So, and then you just to make a crimp. Uh, what I use as a reference is this part. So you're going to fold this edge till you hit that white part, like this. Okay, so now make do that on the other side. Okay, so you end up with something like this. So now we're going to actually fold the head. You're going to fold this like that and then just make a crease here. So you're basically doing the uh, half of the square base. Okay, now fold this corner down a little bit. Something like this, about this much. or maybe a bit less I don't know, something like that and now rotate and now you're going to do the s I guess it's called swivel fold so just do like a half of the bird base here this and here as well don't fold this up but just do something like this and now you can kind of, you know, fold this like that to make uh, the snow some more narrow. So, something like that. So that's the nose. Uh, okay, so now you're going to open this part and make a mountain fold here and then kind of fold this whole head like this you see okay and now when you fold this behind and then uh, yeah it's like that and then, then fold this up like this see fold this up So you get something like this, and that's all the magic. Same here. You get nice ears. Okay, now make a valley fold here like this, and then fold this up. Making a crimp, basically. Something like that, and now you just fold that behind. You can also hide it here. So same thing here. Fold this down, and then fold this up. Pull this behind, and I can hide it here. And uh, do something like that. Okay. And now I just make a mountain fold here. Make a nice mountain fold. 
and um, make two more really don't crease sharply folds and that's the head. Something like that, okay. Okay, so now let's do legs quickly and uh, we'll be done. <laughs> so now I'm going to fold this part over and now fold this down like this. There's no exact reference, but you can, you know, kind of try to align this leg and this leg. So something like. Um, Again, no exact reference, something like this. So it doesn't go from this point, but from somewhere here. So now, once you make the crease, turn around and repeat that crease like that. Okay. And now, you're going to look here inside and uh, do something like this. You're going to fold this part down like that but you can use this is the reference Just fold it down this and then do the crease like that okay So something like that and here you're going to also fold this down and uh, another you're going to make crease here as well like that and then fold this leg up so if you look from this side something like this Okay, and do the same thing here. So fold that down, and I just keep folding this whole part, whole part down. So something like this, and then you fold, you're going to get something like that. As you can see it already looks like a fox, so only thing left to do is to make a mount from, from this point to this point. that and then fold this behind like this okay so same thing here well actually you're you're also doing something like that when you do this you do it like this so like that Now this part can go inside now I think, yeah, try to fold this here inside and then try to close it if it's possible, if it's not just, oh, it should be, let's see. Something like this. Okay, it worked somehow. Okay, and now again, just pull this behind, and you'll get something like that. Now a few more reverse folds, and we'll we are done. You can leave it now. I mean, you can finish it the model like this, but you can now do some reverse folds on the legs. Uh, here is a reverse fold. Make sure here you open the pocket here at the colored side like this 
and then reverse it like that and then you can you can reverse reverse fold it again so you get something like that and on this side I would just uh, make a regular reverse fold so something like that now you maybe you can you know fold this part behind a little bit and kind of shave the leg but I think it's not needed and here for the shaping of this part just make a mountain fold well it's kind of like a crimp here like that and then another crimp here so something like that okay and uh now for some shaping, you can put your finger here inside and then just kind of press here. this and for the tail here you can make something like this make curved folds that's important okay and now you can just kind of fold the tail to the side if you wish to And, uh, sorry. and we are done with the fox as you can see they look pretty similar maybe this one looks even better than, than the other one so they look like this as you can see from behind as well Although this one's heavier and it'll probably last longer, this one also looks pretty nice. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe, comment on this video, and please check out the designer's flicker in the link in the video description and to see more amazing folds by him. I might make some more tutorials of his models, I'll, th I'll see. And uh, yeah, I wish you a great week. And yeah, see ya next time. Bye.